quitting smoking is one of the biggest challenge but the fact is it is worth it today i'm going to be sharing with you 10 tips on how to stop that craving on how to ward off that cravings manage stress and also keep a positive outlook while embarking on that journey Good day, everyone, and welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room YouTube channel. My name is Miss Mary, popularly known as a nurse with the difference, and I make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you 10 ways, 10 tips on how to help you do away with smoking. We all know that smoking is not good for our sexual health, not just our sexual health, but also our health in general. But before I go into details in today's class, if you are new on our YouTube channel and these are contents you are interested in, which is your reproductive health, please click on that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out. For all my returning subscribers, this is Nos Mesmeri saying thank you. Let's go there. All right, welcome back. I believe you know why you are here and I believe you know why you're watching this video. So I'm going to be going straight to the point so we don't waste any time. The first point I have to share with you is plan to quit. For everything you are doing, there should be a planning towards it. First of all, you have to plan. You have to pick a particular date. Which date am I going to quit smoking? Oh, I'm going to start on the 5th of March. I'm going to start on the 1st of March. And I am going to quit smoking this day. So you have to plan. You have to pick a date for it. And you also have to ask yourself this question. How am I going to quit it? Am I going to quit totally? Am I going to do it gradually? Am I going to reduce the number of cigarettes I'm taking a day? This is the question you have to ask yourself. If you are taking 10, do you want to reduce it to 5? Do you want to reduce it to 3? So you have to make plans towards it. Because if you don't plan towards it, you might fail. There's a popular saying that planning is very, very important. If you don't plan properly, you might fail. So that is why the first point is to plan. Hope you are taking it down and hope you are going to actualize or practicalize what I am telling you today. Now, let's go to the second point. The second point I have to share with you is remember why you are quitting. There should be a why. Because when there is a why, you hold on to that why and that is going to make you like embark on this journey judiciously. For example, I am quitting because my health is being affected. I am quitting because my spouse is being affected. I am quitting because I am sexually down. I am quitting for hold on to the why. Remember why you are quitting. So while on this journey, you may want to go down, you may want to reverse back to your former behavior, but remember the why. Once you know the why, it is easier for you to push forward. It is easier for you to go forward rather than going backward to smoking. The third tip I have to share with you is use the money you are saving on cigarettes to treat yourself. For example, you were supposed to use two pounds. You were supposed to use 1,000 to get cigarettes. That two pounds, that 1,000, put it in a savings. Like any money you're supposed to use for, for example, throughout this day, I didn't smoke. So what you have to do is to calculate the amount you were supposed to use to buy it and put it in a savings. So over the time, if for a week you are able to do that, you are able to save that particular money. Take it, break it, don't invest it, don't use it on anything. Use it to treat yourself. Use it to get yourself a nice cloth. Use it to take, take yourself out. Use it, just use it to treat yourself specially. So any money you were supposed to use for the purchases should be used to treat yourself and to make you happy. The fourth point I have to share with you is quit with a friend. Quit with a group of friends. If you have a friend that is trying to quit smoking, both of you should hold each other accountable. Oh, let us embark on this journey of quitting together. That will make it much easier because you people are two, you people are no longer one. That is why there's always community of friends. There's always community of people trying to quit this. There's always community because when you see that you are not alone in this journey, it makes it easier. The fifth point I have to share with you is 
identify what makes you crave for that secret there's always something that comes to your mind and the next thing you're like oh cigarette makes me feel better it will make me identify what persuades you to take it identify what makes you crave for it when you ident identify that it will make you embark on the journey smoothly that will make you look for another way to sort that thing that makes you crave for it then the sixth point i have to share with you is keep yourself busy to resist the urge because cravings usually last between 5 to 20 minutes what you have to do is to list the things that you like doing things that you can keep yourself busy oh when it happens maybe i can swim maybe i can jog maybe i can run maybe i can play ludo games maybe i can skip list the other things that you like doing things that makes you happy for example maybe i can play ps4 with my friends maybe i can play some video games just list the things you like doing so keep yourself busy when that urge comes like i earlier said cravings usually last between 5 to 20 minutes if you can pass through that craving phase it is much easier to push ahead then that takes us to the other then the seventh point i have to share is work out the stress it's similar to the sixth point which is keep yourself busy you can work out this stress with various activities like i earlier said such as swimming skipping running or just work out the stress because while you are trying to reduce those cravings stress comes alongside with it so you have to work it out you have to keep yourself active you have to do some physical activity to help work out that particular stress the eighth point I have to share with you today is lean on your loved ones. Definitely, your loved ones will be willing to support you because they know what you are trying to do is something good that is good for your overall health. So talk to your loved ones, be around your loved ones, your family, your friends that are ready to support you. Then the ninth point I have to share with you is think positive always think about the good side of quitting oh if i quit my health will improve if i quit my sexual performance will improve if i quit my lungs will be okay if i quit my heart will be okay if i quit there will be increased circulation around my body if i quit there's a chance i will live more long think the positive side of quitting and always leave the negative aspect alone hold on to this positive side always meditate on the positive aspect of quitting smoking and that is going to go a long way to help you then the last point i have to share with you is try nicotine therapy and replace then the tenth point i have to share with you is try nicotine replacement therapy this will go a long way to help for example the nicotine gum is approved by the fda to help those that are trying to quit smoking quit smoking so these are the various 10 points and 10 tips i have to share with you on how to quit smoking and i believe it will help you all you have to do is to practicalize it and put it into action even when you fail even when you go back don't be too hard on yourself like encourage yourself and kick start again gradually gradually you see yourself progressing and you also see yourself moving towards achieving the desire which is to stop smoking because smoking generally is bad for the health so thank you very much for staying tuned thank you very much for watching this video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to share with a friend if you got value for all my returning subscribers this is not Smith Mary saying Thank you. Bye and see you in our next video.